You can't feel them, but each of these dots is a tremor, the measurement of an earthquake 20 miles deep that unfolds slowly. These earthquakes release every bit as much energy as the magnitude 6.8 Nisqually earthquake of 2001. But that energy was released over seconds and you got damage. Over weeks, no damage. Scientists can detect them and the colors are significant. This image a compilation since early April. The oldest tremors are blue, the newest in red. But a string of these from California to Vancouver Island, British Columbia, is highly unusual. It's just bigger than we've seen in, I'm looking at the time series, since about 2011. Tim Melbourne runs the Northwest Geodetic Array based at Central Washington University in Ellensburg. Our biggest earthquake risk comes when the ocean floor is forced under the northwest coast. When the upper levels of that, which are locked, give way, like it did in Japan, also in 2011, you get a big earthquake, a magnitude 9, usually accompanied by a tsunami. But like taffy, these quakes stretch the lower end of that plate as it is reheated inside the earth, and that's believed what these are. These quakes detected by sensitive seismometers, which give us a peek into that world. Any signal you get is interesting. It's like, it's like how do I say this? Um, if you have something out in the dark, and you know it's dangerous, you know it's menacing, but every now and then you get a flash of light from it. You can Any given flash of light doesn't tell you a lot, but if you can piece them all together, you can start to put together the different angles and realize, well, wow, we really are looking at a dragon, and it's a big dragon. The thing that Tim Melbourne's organization at Central Washington University does is really look at how the Earth is being distorted here. And let me show you this picture. This shows you how, in general, the northwest coast is being compressed, moved to the northeast, kind of like loading a spring. In a big earthquake, that will shoot back in the opposite direction, like 16 or 20 feet. But let me show you another image that he sent me today. All of these sort of red dots doesn't make a lot of sense when you just look at this image, but what that represents are a lot of very precise GPS measurements of the coast showing the coast and that part of Oregon, Central Oregon, being pushed back about seven millimeters. Now that's not a lot at all, but it is movement in the opposite direction. We've seen that before. Again, scientists trying to connect literally the dots and how this whole system really works. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.